Welcome back to Night 19. 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 Welcome back to Night uh, you guys are currently uh, taking part in the roughly hour-long trip driving through the city in the large uh, camper van that Zinnia seems to have acquired from somewhere. I will note that as you guys drive, it is a particularly bumpy drive. Zinnia doesn't turn out to be an exceptional driver, uh, coupled with the destroyed state of the city. You guys mm. feel like you perhaps may topple a couple of times. Mati Lei, you did come to at the end of last game, and you guys are all fully healed, as between missions we tend to fully heal everybody. But your head is still throbbing. There is a striking pain every now and then that goes through your mind. Yeah, Fio's probably just kind of like has her arms around her, just checking on her briefly. Just, are you okay? Uh, I guess even Max Strength Tylenol does not do the trick. <laughs> No, I'm not. Tylen okay, I was going to say, I don't know what Tylenol is, but you're allowed to say you're not okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not dying, it's just, uh, <laughs> she is very close. I can't believe that potion worked. What potion? That was so fucking clutch! So, can't believe you did that! So you're, like, on the ground, right? Uh-huh. So no, well, I, I, I was, yeah, yeah, no, keep going. Yeah, but, like, I found this potion from, like, a demon forever ago, right? Uh-huh. And it, it was, like, a potion of love, and I I kind of, like, climbed Adric and fed it to him and made him look at you. And then he, like, kind of fell in love with you? I don't really know. But then he, like, carried you and put you in the van. But it, like, made him not want to kill you, so I can't believe it fucking worked. Of course I was unconscious when that happens. Right? No. <laughs> it's a lot better than killing him. What do you What's think the, the the devil that you got it off of was going to do with it? I don't know. Maybe it was like into like one of its like pig looking like friends. And it was like, I'm going to super give him this. And then make him look at me. And then that's how that's going to go down. Because that shit is strong. Or maybe he was going to sell it to someone who wanted something like that. Maybe. I don't know what that would go for. You'd be surprised. No. Yeah, no, Adric might be super into you now, I don't know. Forever. I don't know how long that shit lasted. I will believe it when I see it. Well, I know you all saw it, and I believe you that it happened, but I will truly believe it when I see it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope, you, I hope we live to see you. But there's something we need to do first. We need to live. Yeah, it's true. And he How needs long is it to going live? to take us to get to where we're going? If we're heading straight there, it should only take uh, the better part of another 20 minutes or so. As you guys drive and have been weaving around through the city trying to move from the stadium, which is farther to the north, uh, down to it, you have occasionally heard massive sounds, the cracking of earth and shifting of buildings as you assume the beast that you are running from was causing some kind of destruction back off behind you. Uh, there were, are a couple occasions where you do see a large pieces of debris from around where the stadium is soar across the sky of the city. On one occasion, crashes into a building near you. You guys manage to avoid any damage. Another, you hear the distant sound of ice shattering and a large wave as if it lands in the bay, which is considerably far away. But no matter how far you get from it, you never really get away from hearing the sounds of destruction coming from back where the stadium is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, sweet! There's a case of Dr. Pepper under the seat. <laughs> oh my God. What? How do you keep finding those? I the man, you will ask before you take. Ah, uh, this is a stolen car. I can take what I want. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That's, honestly, that's fair. That's fair, I guess. <laughs> Legally, he's allowed. <laughs> At that point, it's just looting, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, this is either very fortunate or very unfortunate. I'm not sure about my opinion yet, but I'm having one. <laughs> That's fair. We're getting oh relatively God. close at this point. Just wanted to go over it with you again. So Lilith has evidently found some way to get inside on her own, but this thing is normally locked from the outside, or from the inside. You all have a way to get in, right? We yeah. Have to Gino. Raise his hand. We could be very wrong, but we're pretty sure 
we have one event based off of this and it's we've had a hundred percent success rate so far let's hope all right small sample size but it works what should we expect once we're inside an elevator elevator expect to fight it's always a thing it's always a thing mm -hmm. um, hey. of the time so far actually it's not true because yeah. we went down and so we'll also be but transitioning we killed through 50 percent of the time so far <laughs> We'll also be transitioning through several layers of uh, the, the demon realms. Yeah. It's also maybe puzzles inside. Ooh. Are but you I'm, any uh, good at puzzles, Zinni? Um, uh, uh, relatively, I, I guess. As good as anyone else is at good. puzzles. What, what kind of know. puzzles are we talking about? Sometimes there's like fire that you have to like run through and you get a little bit toasty if you don't run through it at the right time, right? Uh, sometimes... Um, let's see. What else have we dealt with? There was like an old where you had to throw statues in it, and you had to throw the right ones in it, and then it would give you a necklace. Oh, yeah, you're right. Shit. Yeah. And that one I had that fucking was, down pat. There was a, a rave was so or something. Good. There was a bunch of lights raving down on things. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't no, understand that, was, that one. I didn't either, so we just hit things until they I died. I feel like it was a dance room. I it was a stupid like, puzzle. I feel, like, I feel like we solved that puzzle. We could just beat our <laughs> way through it. Yeah, if it was a dance room, I should have killed that. I'm an amazing dancer, according to Sebastian. Nothing I still need to right. dance with him across the country. Huh. I guess I should follow up with that on, at some point. It's a long time to dance. It really That's is. That's the whole huh? way. You do yeah. it in, you, It's more like going on tour. You go to different places, and you see different people, and they see you perform. It is like a like road a show. Point? Yes, but I but doing it in different venues. Oh, yeah. So I think oh, Gino yeah. and I thought they were talking about dancing across the country. Yeah, you start at one place dancing and you end dancing. It's like yeah. the whole way. Like yeah. Forrest Gump in the 1994 smash hit Forrest Gump starring Tom Hanks. No. Yeah. We have so many movies to watch. Uh-huh. We better not seen Forrest in. Gump? I've not seen it. <laughs> Do you Manny, know how many kinds of shrimp I learned about because of that movie? <laughs> we have talked about this so many times, I've never seen a movie in my life. Oh my god. We have to start with like, the basics. Sure. I don't know, is the basics another movie? Uh-huh. I mean, there's probably a movie. I was thinking The Land Before Time. Wait, there was a Land Before Time existed? What? I know, right? It's wild. What? When you think about it, time oh, we measure it as a social construct. Mm-hmm. It's true. Arden, I don't get it. Follow the bright circle past the great rock understand. that looks like a wrong neck and past the mountains that burn. Uh, it was oh, a really beautiful it. movie. It was on ABC. Yeah. <laughs> like the alphabet? That you guys like the used? channel. Hi, how convenient. We've arrived. Oh, <laughs> 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 you guys come to a sudden stop. <laughs> Weird, you know, <laughs> what happens anytime I start talking a lot in a car ride, suddenly we're just there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys come, I come to a sudden stop as the van, uh, as it continues to move, starts to slide slightly. As it doesn't come to a full stop, skids along the ice, buckles and lurches for a second, and then settles down with a relatively bassy thump as you're all jostled in your seats. You see outside... Protruding from the ground with um, a large amount of destroyed uh, buildings surrounding it. Skyscrapers, apartment buildings, what have you, that were at the core of the city have now been toppled, ripped apart, and effectively a, f a more open field has been formed around it from the destruction of it emerging from the ground before. It just looks like the same uh, copper and uh, copper golden obsidian sort of talon-like structure protruding, striking up into the sky. So, um, how do we ask to get in? Gino, do uh, your thing. I guess. Just in case we, you know, get this thing open and she's right there. Um, can I ask you guys a favor? Hmm, yeah. I don't want to turn again. So if that happens, then... Uh, no. Oh. No. I'm saying if it happens... Don't kill me. I'm not gonna say that. I can't kill you. You're huge. I'm just saying, try to try to keep me we'll from hurting people. But yes, that's what I'm asking. Here, uh, turn around and look to the big old tower, and he'll uh, walk up to it. 
You guys step out into the follow. cold, the heat of the flames of admonishment uh, from Marile, keeping you all relatively warm within the radius as you approach it. From this, uh, from being here, you guys had come out of it whenever you left, but um, once again, being at the base of one of these things, it occurs to you just how massive these anchors are, in that even without destroying the surrounding city, they would still strike up far above the rest of the buildings and whatnot that surround it. You see up near the top of it the same hooked sort of device where um, there's a very large spike that you now know is connected to a chain inside the structure, similar to the one that fired off the other one when you were done with it. Whenever you guys walk towards it, you see what the initially smooth surface of the outside of the uh, anchor shifts slightly, and the same eye-like structure protrudes out from it as you get within 50... 40 feet of it. Lights begin scanning over each of you, turning red for the most part after they scan each of you, until they fall into Gino, who whenever this yellow light scans over him, it turns green for a second. The light then disappears, and there's a moment of waiting after it concludes, after it t- seems to take a second to catch up with itself. Like before, the outside of the Talon, the, the anchor that's in front of you, Seems to almost fade away as if it had just been a projection of a wall. Seems to fade away, become semi-translucent. Same as last time you entered. A long corridor Pat. extends out in front of you. Reach up to Pat Gino on the shoulder. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Zinni, are you going to be okay to fight? You, you don't have your, your, your case thing in. I'll probably leave most of it to the lot of you. Um, beyond having Pandora, I came armed with... Uh, what I need to take out normal people, but I'm afraid I'm not particularly strong without it. I relied mostly on it. Okay. But, um, if it's that urgent, if we manage to get in and we manage to find Lilith and get my box back, then I'm sure I could be more useful to you. I just wanted to make sure that you could defend yourself just in case, but I'll keep you safe. She, like, takes out the gun that she's carrying and she spins it in her hand. (laughs) I've at least got this. Okay, I'll trust you, but if it comes to it, I'll protect you. <laughs> Very reassuring, thank you. <laughs> of course, you're a friend. Let's go. Starts walking in. How big is this corridor? Is it echoey? Yes, whenever you walk into them, these initial corridors that, just like the last one you came into, is like 40 feet wide, 50 feet t- tall, just extends out into the darkness ahead of you. How, how far would you say an echo travels in this corridor? Probably far enough that you wouldn't hear it bounce back. You'd hear the reverb of it for the most part. It would bounce a bit and... Oh, okay, sorry. I'm, I'm, you, I was imagining you were going to do like a Grinch-style heckin' yelling at it. You're wondering for the purposes of stealth? Yes and no. <laughs> okay, so maybe. What I'm do gonna, you want? Yeah. Um, well, what, in what so context as, are you asking? As they're, as they're entering, um, I'm imagining <laughs> she's sticking a little bit closer to Fionula because Fionula was essentially watching over her while they were in the car. Mm-hmm. But she's going to tug on Fio's sleeve and kind of fall back while everyone else moves forward. Fionula? Hey, what's up? I. <laughs> this is going to be a bit odd. Um, things you've said before concerning Niccolo and I. Now, <laughs> a little part of me had a bit of a inkling come away thing, uh, that you might just be a little bit jealous, and that is okay. What? I'm not done. <laughs> um, if that's not the case, my other concern is, why do you insinuate what you do between Niccolo and I? Wait, jealous of Nicola? No, 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 no. When I, when I do what I do around Arden, you get so flustered. Uh, but uh, at the same time, you seem to want Nicolo and I to be more than what we are. Uh, maybe you're just teasing yourself, or maybe I'm being a bit confusing. Um, well, well, you you, you do really confuse me a lot. Um. I, I do feel weird when when you do stuff around Arden. Um, like, I, I like you a whole bunch, Marile. And I'll, like, kind of just grab her hand with both of mine. Like, I like you so much. And, 
So I don't understand why when when you're around Arden and you're you're doing stuff, I I, I feel like angry at you. And <laughs> but I I shouldn't though because you're my friend and you you haven't given me any reason to be angry at you. But I I don't really get why. Only when you're doing stuff with Arden, I feel like mad at you. But that doesn't make any sense. And if like you want to hang out with Arden, that obviously go right ahead. Um. So, you know, I shouldn't be mad at you, but I, I, I do feel, like, angry or or annoyed, and I, I don't know why, but, um, with you, Nicola, I, I, I'm just teasing, honestly. You, you guys are just really, really close. Yeah, I got them and I are. And, mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know, just, there, there are little, little things where it seemed like you might be more, but I, I, I don't really understand human <laughs> stuff all that well. So, you know. Close is an interesting word that you can give what Niccolo and I are. I mean, I've said the story a bit. Mm -hmm. Quite a many times. Yeah. <laughs> and it's... <laughs> I guess a little bit embarrassing to say that I can see what you mean. Niccolo is... <laughs> despite how I tease him, he's very special to me. But... I am only a burden on Niccolo. Mm, that sounds incorrect to me. You're, you're really strong, Marile, and you're not a burden at all. I don't think Niccolo would say that about you whatsoever. He probably wasn't because Niccolo has a good heart. Think about that. Just think about it for a moment. He was sent to kill me. He didn't know who I was, or what I was capable of, or anything like that. And yes, once he found out that I was defenseless and a bit stupid, he... He gave everything up and told me to run away with him. I don't know if he's... I don't know what he left behind. Friends, family loved ones. He didn't do it for the fun of it or the excitement. He did it so to protect me. Uh -huh. Some whore he never met in his life. Have you... Have you ever asked him what he left behind? And from what I understand of his, his order and stuff, they don't sound like very good people. And I think from seeing the two of you and seeing him now, um, maybe, maybe you helped him more than you realize. Maybe you helped him get out of something that, a, a situation or something that he didn't realize was bad, but you made him realize. So I think you might have helped him more than you think. Do you want to know why I've never asked? Yeah, of course I do. So I want to know you. I'm scared because if he does think about what he left behind, if he did, he might really kill me. And if he does, I'd let him. Niccolo is the only man I will ever allow to kill me. That being said, I do not deserve Niccolo. I think you do. <laughs> no, I'm... I am a cuera, as they say. I... I have been on the streets in the arms of men and women of every age from as far as I can remember. I am dirty, used. Niccolo deserves someone pura, benevolent, a maiden, a dream girl. I am not a dream girl. I am an intoxicating fantasy. And at some point, you need to be sober. That is why, as much as I love Niccolo Fianula, I cannot be with him. I think you're a lot better than you think you are. And <laughs> I, I don't really understand much of what you do. Um, I, I sort of do, but, it, uh, um, <laughs> I don't know much, <laughs> but um, what I do know is that whether it's 
you know, you guys are gonna be together forever and all that sappy stuff. Um, I think Niccolo loves you too. Whether it, whatever kind of love that is. But <laughs> I don't, I don't think you're, you're dirty or whatever other words you said. Um, <laughs> but you, you are something good that, that Niccolo deserves. And if, if I'm picking down what you're laying up here, um, or is it the other way around? I don't know. But, um, I think you're worth it. And you may not see how good you are, but you're, you're a really, really amazing person. You're, you're very, very nice and you're accepting, you're, you're patient and, you know, I love being around you. And while I don't understand why you make me angry sometimes, I I love you, Marile. I don't know you much, but you're you're wonderful. And if you want to tell Nicolo, or if you don't, I will stop my teasing. But I I think you're great. And <laughs> if I, I don't know how to phrase these things right. <laughs> I can try to give you some advice on those feelings. Hmm? Now, it's not as complicated as it may seem. When I do what I do around Arden, you feel angry. Like you want to take him away from me? Kinda, yeah. Like you want him to look at you? Instead? Um... There is... Yeah... It is very simple. They call it having a crush. Like we crush demons? No. I know, it's a very... When I was trying to take a bit of a hold, more of a hold on English, it was something that it... The slang is very strange. It is... <laughs> so there is liking, like you like a friend. Then mm -hmm. there is liking, like you like someone you want to be with. But it's the same but, word. But it's kind of... Yes, I know, it's like the same <laughs> word. And then there's love, like you just said you love me. But you're not going to take me to bed and we do the hanky-panky, correct? No. No. Uh, I, I just, I love you because you're my friend. Aha. Uh -huh. And I love being around pero, you. Pero, pero, there is the other type of love where I guess if you're interested, it doesn't, doesn't take away from it. You might want to do the hanky-panky if you both want to do it. Uh, Have you thought about Arden that way? Um... Not it might not have gotten to that yet. You're still learning. I... Um... I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you, but you cannot tell Arden, okay? La boca um, sellada. So, sometimes I, I don't understand, mm -hmm. but I just want to, like, kiss his cheek or... or, like, kiss him when he's being, like, really cute, and I don't get why, but... I don't know, I feel like all like fluttery when I'm around him and stuff and I, I, I don't know, like we're just like really good friends and he like found me on a boat and I was like hiding and then like he was, he was just really nice to me so maybe I feel that way because he was like this really nice human who was really nice to me and I wasn't having to hide, hide from him, you know? Hmm. And, you know, I've had to hide ever since I got here and once I had Arden I didn't have to be scared anymore. <laughs> I think what you shall do. Now, it is very romantic when you just suddenly grab someone and you just kiss them to show them how much you love them. It's like going, Hardy, te quiero. But we here appreciate consent. So ask him. Maybe, may, maybe when you get that fluttery feeling in your heart, when you're talking to him, or worrying about when he does that thing that hurts himself that you don't like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, Maybe when he reaches for a hug, ask him if he wants a kiss instead. I don't know if I didn't feel that way about me, though. Then like, make it a surprise and see what happens. Uh, I mean, if he doesn't like it, he'll probably tell you. Yeah, but I don't think I didn't like me like that. I'm like, uh, demon -y. Well, it's like they say, and it's a very odd saying, but try to take it at face value. You will miss 
a hundred percent of the shots you do not take. But I, I miss a lot of the shots that I do take, Marley. But that's okay, but you tried, is the point, is you try. You try. Hmm. Because if you don't try, then of course you will always fail if you never try. But if you try, there is a chance, even if it's just a little slip, that you might succeed. Huh. I guess you never you're right. know. Mm-hmm. I mean, it probably won't be any time soon we kind of deal with big death situations and stuff. Oh yeah, there's a lot going on. Yeah, there's but, a lot of shit going on. That also being said, there is also one more thing that I am a little worried about. Yeah. This headache. Now it is just a theory, but it's most likely correct. La Senora is trying to get into my mind. And I think the pain is my heart trying to fight her. But I am only a half demon. And I don't know how much longer I can fight. That is also why I mentioned what I did with Nicaro. If it turns out I cannot fight any longer, as much as I wish that it would be Nicolo to end it for me, I don't think he would do it. He couldn't do it the first time. He's a big softy. Yes. Now, I am not going to be sappy and say that you have to kill me. This is going. To, this is a hard burden to put on anybody. I won't kill you, but I will do my best to, to knock you out if it comes to that. Mm. And if it cannot be avoided, it's okay. I have to say I've lived a pretty good life. I mean, yeah, I've had to do a lot of dirty things in order to get the things I want, but <laughs> I still have cannot say it was not a fun ride in more ways than one. We're not going to let anything happen to you. I know that's like super like, oh no, I've said that, so therefore something bad's probably going to happen. Oh, that but... only happens in TV shows. Oh, thank God. Um, That would never happen in real life. No. That's but, just bad karma. But I'm I'm here for you. And and I'll look out for you. <laughs> I will look out for you too, Saricita. Hmm. What does that mean, by the way? You keep calling me that and I don't really get it. <laughs> well, a Spanish has a thing called gendered language. So if you were a boy, I would call you Cerecito. A cereza oh. is a cherry. Like the fruit. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So I am calling you... The little cherry. Oh, it's cute. Because I'm mm -hmm. red. <laughs> mm -hmm. It ends in Ita because you are a girl. Oh, uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. It's cute. Mm -hmm. Because you are cute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how far everybody's getting, but they're going to notice when they start feeling the cold. Yeah. <laughs> and then Arden will do the stupid thing where he hurts himself and he's like, Oh, fire, yay. I swear oh. to God, that boy. Keep an eye on him with that cloak, too. He can just run away now. I know! <laughs> That's why she stresses me out. Mm. Thank you. While I cannot say that I fully deserve him yet, let us keep an eye on our boys. Yay. <laughs> and you do deserve him. I know you don't believe me, but you do. <laughs> now, vámonos! Okay, that thing! Uh, Hell yeah. Done. I'm gonna bonk, uh, Mommy Lay with, oh. um, uh, an Emmanuel good luck charm. Another Gregorious luck. He did it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've just been, like, doodling while we walk while I drew another I just one. imagine, like, he just jumps up and he's, like, mid-air, then pap on her head. <laughs> like those little talismans. Pap. Oh, babe. All righty. <laughs> there I go, that'll help with your headache. Sorry for you in the head <laughs> <laughs> no no thank you money <laughs> you guys would at this point be within view of what looks like a chamber that is a bit farther in that appears to be somewhat not entirely but appears to be somewhat illuminated you can't tell details of it from where you are but you do see an end to the tunnel you're in you enter into a large room it's about uh, has, there has a radius it's, it's a circular room has a radius of about 30 feet, so circumference of about 60 feet across, and it the room goes up about 100 feet towards a ceiling that has a large, what looks to be a, this huge glowing circular panel that is giving off light that is illuminating much of the top of the room, 
but only dimly illuminating the bottom of the room. It is stylized in such a way that this large panel on top, this circular, uh, I wouldn't call it a, a glass or a gemstone, it just looks like glowing rock. Uh, it appears to be stylized around it to resemble a sun. There's like little uh, markings on the side that resemble a cartoon sun. You guys see that around the circumference of the room, there are stairways that lead up from the floor that you are on to a set of three different walkways that are all up 30 feet. So there's one at 30 feet up, one at 60 feet up, and one at 90 feet up. And each of them is lit up a bit brighter than the last one, given that they are closer to the sun-like thing on the top. From what you can see, uh, each of these walkways goes around the uh, edge of the top of the room. Uh, you can see from where you are, each one appears to have a large door on it, and each one also appears to have a panel that is lined up. The floor that you are on, the base floor, zero feet, also seems to have this panel that looks like almost a cont uh, control console near the staircase that leads up to the walkways, and you notice that on each floor above it there is another one that is located that looks to be identical to it. There don't seem to be any other doors out, except for the one that is on each of the distinct walkways at the different floors. Mm. So no elevator. Okay. Stairs. I'm gonna walk up On. to the, uh, the computer. All right, walking up to the console. It appears to be made of metal and stone. It doesn't have like a screen on it, but it does appear to have several buttons and whatnot. And you see that it does have, um, this one appears to have the necessary mechanics that looks like it might open a door or summon an elevator. Like it has effectively uh, toggleable analog switches on it, but nothing that uh, nothing that looks like much of anything distinguishable. You know, taking a second to mess with some of the controls, you'll hear like the sound of machinery beginning to engage whenever you hit certain buttons, pull like a thing that vaguely resembles a uh, uh, like an aircraft uh, lever. But whenever they go, you hear the sound of like chains of machinery engaging, then nothing happening. Huh. I wonder if it does stuff in other rooms. Maybe. Or there's another fucking giant demon blocking something again. I guess we can look upstairs. I guess? The only thing that seems to be what we need to do. There are three other floors up there. The food court's okay. probably on the third. They do it so that way you have to go all the way up and then come all the way back down. And they kind of design it so you're probably not going to take the same way, so you have to pass by as many stores as possible. Well, let's see if he's right. Let's go to the third. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As you guys walk up and you follow the stairways that lead between each of the walkways, ascending 30 feet, uh, you initially pass by the console that is on the first floor, which, when you look at it, it is evidently different. Though it is located almost directly above the other one, it appears that this one has a circular hole in it that looks like it could fit like a a fist-sized circular object, as well as it has a modem that has three switches um, that look like they are currently all... None of them are depressed right now, but basically three large buttons. And those buttons... And forgive this, this isn't what it looks like. This is just a general approximation of it, so you guys have an idea. They each have markings on them. Uh, one has a circle that has two smaller circles with it. One has two circles with a total of eight small circles surrounding them. And one has three large circles with a total of 24 small circles. Oh. Oh, thank God. I was like <laughs> trying to picture this. Hold on. <laughs> what do you think of Marley? Oh, no, I might be wrong. No, it's so, okay. It's so, so, so there's, there is a one with just one big one and then two little holes or things. Then there's two, and then there's two little things. In, but there's four little things for each one, Corn, kind of like one times two is two, and then two times two is four. But then I look at the third one, and it just throws everything out of whack, because it's three <laughs> times two is six, but there's seven. But we take Wait. what you just said. No, no, there. no. Uh, Trying to count on fingers. Is, uh, what? Thing, if we look at just the blue ones, the blue one has two, then four, then eight. Four times two is eight, and then oh, ah, Nicaro. Okay, and then después, then you have four. <laughs> you have the yellow one with four, and then you have one, two, three, four, five. Ah, and then four times eight. Four times two is eight. 
And then I don't know with green. You lose me. Me pierdes in green. Are we are we figuring out how this works, or are we trying to disprove the moon landing? I I'm want really to confused. believe that Matt was involved in the last one to some extent. But well, now I'm not I so press sure. one. Oh. Which one do you press? I press the the lone blue one. You press the lone blue one. Nothing happens. It seems as if we still need some sort of key or something for this. You're explaining that made me feel like my brain went to another dimension. I have no idea. Potentially it will be on the same floor if we do do that. Uh, there is a doorway over there. Perhaps we'll find the key to whatever this could be in there. But uh, I will press the, the one with the yellow. Whenever you press the one with the yellow, the previous one unpresses uh, as you press it down, but nothing else happens. And then I'll press the last one just to see. Same thing. It causes the one that you had just pressed to pop back out, and then nothing happens. Until we get the key for this, uh... I'm gonna just go walking towards the door. Uh, let's go, alright. Let's go! Decision's been made! You walk a ways through the facility, the longer you spend in it, the more you guys find that it's getting not only warm, but uncomfortably warm while you're in here. It always sort of feels like you're in... Uh, and being within one of the anchors feels like you are adjacent to, uh, like a forge at all times. And as you proceed... You start to hear the, as of recently, unfamiliar sound of water. Of what sounds like a public pool, almost. Yeah, you see a room that is very lightly lit, with a, with a soft, bluish-green glow. Stepping out, you see that the room that you're in appears to be a room filled with lukewarm water. Uh, there's a soft illumination coming from what look like luminescent tiles at the bottom. The water goes down about 20 feet. There's a, you guys emerge on a central platform that uh, extends out about 20, 30, 40, can't quite tell, feet uh, out into the center of it. And then just the platform is just surrounded on all sides by this water. You see that there is room beyond what you're able to see, but uh, unfortunately it is obscured by what looks like thick metal fencing, grating effectively, about... 10, 15 feet in every direction from the uh, from the platform you're on that it runs between these large pillars. Those, uh, the more observant of you in the group would very immediately recognize that underneath the water, this metal grating is not present. And so you can tell there is room beyond what you can see. Well, anybody up for the swim? Sure. Yeah, I guess. me. I'll do like it a little spin be. in my little, my little, my little cloak. We're looking for something around the size of a fist that can fit inside the divot of the uh, small thing outside. Thingies, yep. I will pull up the hood of my cloak, activate it, so I can breathe underwater and shit. Just hop in. Do you need a, do you need a light? I can see in the dark. I'm okay. I can. Can or can't? I can't. Oh, with okay. a T. Sorry. Now, Marilei, do you think you can do what you did with my rifle to Gino's sword? Oh, yes. I can. You can say I have the magic touch. Ding. And then touches the sword. Yeah. Ding. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, so what are you guys doing? Open in the water. I'm going to dive into the water. Do we want to go with the two of them, or should we just leave them to it? What if it's like jello water and you can't get out? I'll stay up here. Okay. The two of you head down. As you do, you see the area extends out pretty immediately. Once you're in, the water is a bit murkier. It's harder to see while you're within it. You have to concentrate for a sec, as if the ripples of the water are not only uh, from the water moving, but there seems to be some kind of sensory illusion that is making it difficult to see anything. Could both of you roll me a perception check? Not performance, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Woo, I'm hating! Hey, bear, 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 bear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You see, wouldn't have it any other way. There is several chains connected to the wall that appear to be holding what looks like a large cage, uh, floating about ten feet down. So, ten feet from the surface of the water, ten feet from the the uh, the floor underneath, located on the southern side of the room. That inside, you see that these chains aren't connected to the the cage itself, but they are going inside of it and appear to be bound to the sides of what looks like a glass container. Inside of which, you see a. One moment, inside of which you see a just dimly glowing, flickering, uh, circular-looking, almost diamond. Um, I'll, like, point at it and then start swimming over to it. As you guys go up to the cage, the cage itself seems to be floating in the middle of the water, rather harmlessly. 
It doesn't seem to be bound to anything, it just seems to be fixed in place. The bars are close enough together that neither of you can just reach through. Just, like, makes a motion to Theo, like, just love, like, ripping open bars <laughs> kind of thing. Give you a thumbs up, like, go ahead and try. Dude, he's gonna walk up to it, he's gonna try to pry the bars open a little bit. Go ahead and roll me a strength check. Actually, uh, roll me an athletics check. Should we have yo! a stealth point? Because we level. Yo! Ah! You start pulling on it, and you do, Gino, in fact, manage to pull the bars underwater, pull them open enough that you could reach inside. There's still the small glass dome that is surrounding whatever this thing is. Uh, Theo, could you roll me another perception check? You notice one of the chains that's near you moves underwater as if something had disturbed it. Uh-oh. I'm gonna tap Gino and point to where it moved, like point to the, the chain that moved, and then try to reach in and grab the thing. Reaching in, you you touch this glass orb that is held in place by a total of um, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, eight um, chains that are locking it in place. What would you like to try to do with it? Like pull it out or? Yeah, I'm gonna try to just like brace myself and try to pull. Roll me a strength check. Yeah! I'm Hayden! <laughs> As you pull, you do not manage to wrestle it free from the chains. I'm gonna look at Gino and make like um, a motion of like swinging my sword and point to the chains and then point to him. Like, try he and. Pulls his sword out. Yeah, he's... try to break it with your sword. Swing at that chain. Alrighty. As you swing at it, roll me an attack roll, uh, but roll it with disadvantage. Yeah. Oh. You swing to hit it, you hit it, you crack the glass orb. Roll me damage. See if it breaks. Oh, I was swinging at the chain. Oh, you're swinging at the chains. Yeah, that's what Fio said to do, right? I'm not misunderstanding that. I, I was either orb or that chains, just pointing at the thing. Okay, well, I, I, I'll so. take the orb. You just sure, why not? All right, the orb, roll me damage. Um, yeah. You hit it, it cracks, part of it does break. A very, uh, a sliver along the side of it cracks open and the glass orb begins filling with water. As it does, there is another disturbance in the water around you guys. As for you, you become aware of something moving. Those of you that are not there, those of you that are uh, outside, um, that are still up on the surface, could you guys roll me perception checks? There go my oh. style points. Oh. <laughs> Are dead. Uh, you know what? I'm so gonna use a style point <laughs> just in case. <laughs> of course, oh. I'm not allowed to have. I've <laughs> <laughs> been banned from style points. I've been banned from style points. <laughs> Nicolo, mm. you're the only one that notices it there. Gino and Theo, uh, we'll say you two are good. You become aware that, as if having been obscured by the water and now not, as it, as you break this orb, the obscuring element of the inside of the area under the water, the illusion that almost seemed to be causing everything to be difficult to see, begins peeling away, as if it had been attached to the orb. As oh. it does, you see two very large bodies, both of which clamoring with many what look like tentacles, writhing around, almost watching you, but now aware that they're seen, beginning to move, begin moving towards you. And Niccolo, uh -oh. you hear the sound of wet squelching, as almost as if something is coming up onto the surface. You turn back towards the entrance, and you see tentacles begin pulling themselves with a larger, bluish body up as this what looks like a monstrous almost octopus like creature pulls itself up onto the surface i'm gonna make these visible and i'd like everybody to roll initiative <sighs> theo heads up gino and nicolo will not be surprised everybody else is <laughs> these are the creatures you see pulling themselves up gargoctopus <laughs> gargoctopus it's a horn of gargoctopi <laughs> I was gonna say, mm. because hurting yourself is never in style, Arden. Eight chains, <laughs> eight legs on an octopus. Mm. Oh, I see. Eight <laughs> pillars. Eight pillars. Eight is I nearly as high as I there's a count. theme I here. David Tennant. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The Garg Octopus is voiced by David Tennant. I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, okay. Nicolo, you're up first. Uh, I will, uh, looking over, I will say heads up, even though I know it isn't going to affect them. Uh, and um, I am going to immediately Hunter's Mark what? this thing. And then I'm going to go for some attacks on the thing with my rifle. That's a crit! Oh I my hit. god! Oh <laughs> my god. Strong opening. You gain two style points, and go ahead. <laughs> it shows up, you whirl around immediately, aim your weapon and fire at it, you hit it. You hear this, like, this distress <laughs> sound as it falls back, surprised to have been shot so suddenly. Oh, god. oh my god. <laughs> and you max every die, what except for the, the first, fuck? on your damage roll, <laughs> dealing 36 damage to it. It's near the child. <laughs> Quick, shoot it again. <laughs> I will. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Hi. I, I, have, I have full stuff. I'm going to use one. <laughs> you, oh. you hit. <laughs> For those Weird. at home, they rolled a two, but they still hit. <laughs> Was it because of the style point? Okay, never mind. Don't answer that. Uh, la -da -da -da. Hi -ya. I was Bye. really hoping you'd crit again. <laughs> <laughs> you, you fired it again. It takes another 14 points of damage. I had to nat one so <laughs> you could <laughs> flourish. <laughs> I will re I will re uh, realign myself and uh, that will be me. All right. <laughs> I'm uh I guess get up. Come on, get down. I'll just poof my echo over to the one on the right. I'm just gonna heck it and start wailing on this fucking katamari. Style pointed up because I don't want to fucking miss. You do have disadvantage. It's gonna be hard to beat that. It's okay. Uh, roll it again. You might get a one. And if you get a one, you lose all your style points. <laughs> he did. The echo appears underwater. It strikes at it. It misses. It's I'm gonna... something between 12 and 16. <laughs> I'm gonna style point again, because what are style points to me? Um, yo. You strike, you deal 18 damage. Heck yeah. And unleash incarnation for another. Well, there goes the rest. There goes the rest of your oh, style no. points. Join me. <laughs> <laughs> you know I what? Love how, I love how consistent it is that you don't have stuff. All I... It always happens. <laughs> I'm not allowed to have them. I refuse. I gain me. two style points. Style <laughs> <laughs> well, points are there to mock me. <laughs> uh. Okay, if I get one more level, do I? Get, can I get two style points from action surges too? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, te yeah, technically. I mean, you're both classes. <laughs> oh, yeah. that, that does not hit. No. Gonna I'm more between 13 and 16. Style point again. <laughs> and then I'm gonna hit him. I swear it. You hit, and you deal 17 more damage. Okay, hey. and last attack. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's another net one. So uh. you miss again, and you would lose your style points. Well, that was my last one anyway. So I'm yeah, cool. I know. <laughs> Feel. <laughs> Heckin Garg Octopus One swims towards you, so it's gonna make four attacks. Oh. <laughs> That's one for every two arms. It's true. <laughs> First attack is going to go for is its bite. It misses. It's its beak. Tries to bite you, you bring your shield up underwater, brace it against it. Uh, it's large, uh, shifting, cracking like maw underneath its uh, tentacles tries to bite into you, but you stop it. It then whips around with one of its tentacles to try to strike you. As it does, you that one hits. <laughs> Indeed. You're right. <laughs> you take... 11 damage. Ow. And you're grappled. Fuck. And not only are you grappled. Oh no. But you're restrained. Fuck. Uh oh. <gasps> Do you know help? <laughs> oh, I'm doing it. It is going to use the rest of its attacks to try to hit you. Yeah. Uh, while you are grappled by it, it can simply automatically hit you with tentacles. Of course it can. However, it's still going to roll just in case it gets a crit. All right, it does not, but it does hit you. Strikes, oh, it deals maximum damage. You take 16 <laughs> points. Uh-oh. One more. Bye, Fio. Fio no. idea. It's again, <laughs> it strikes, and it deals another 14 points of damage to you. 
Oh my gosh! This one finally climbs up. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Having been shot and fallen back slightly, there's a moment of it getting shot and just falling back into the water and it's settling and then you just see the tentacles rise up again almost frustrated and just <laughs> onto the side and it just pulls itself back up. You okay, swear so you see its monkeys. eyes narrowing at you. It's gonna go for a bite <laughs> attack on you. That's fitting. That that makes sense. It gets a net 20. <laughs> Well, here comes the 89 damage, boy. <laughs> I'm a fucking octopus. Here we go. You take 42 damage and lose concentration. It is then That's going... almost half of 89 points of damage. <laughs> almost half of 89 points of damage. It then swings around with a tentacle to try to strike you. And it hit blood misses. <laughs> it is then going to swing a tentacle around to try to hit Manny. No. Oh, no. Uh, gasps in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> it hits. Man, you take 11 damage, you're now grappled and restrained. It is then going to swing at Arden, and it hits! <laughs> <laughs> you take 15 points of damage, you're now grappled and restrained. Oh, ah. no. Son of a bitch! Ah, Zinnia, I didn't, I didn't roll for your perception. See, Zinnia saw them and ran away. She, like a smart person. nat 20. Oh, oh, yeah. She's, She's gonna fire towards it. However, in firing towards it, I'm gonna have her roll 1d100. And let's see what all three of you, right? You're all grappled, I believe. Oh, I'm God. Not. You're not? Just the two of you? All right, so yeah, but they take <laughs> aim. Fields. Yep, she's going to fire, and be, while it's shifting okay. around, Manny, it no! hits. they're going to hit you. Yeah. You shot the child. Please do, man. They fire. You the child? What? You take 16 damage. Ah! Up. What's happening? Sorry about that. Uh, it's moving around a bit too much. It's really hard to. And she fires again. I'm gonna roll 1d100. Oh no! <laughs> Zinny! She hits me again. <laughs> nope. This one's going at Arden. Why? Oh, no! The Zinny, tentacles are moving around. So much. Much. I'm so uh, sorry, but she crit against you. You gotta be kidding me. Son of a bitch, dude. Sorry! <laughs> I'm very sorry! It snaps back as if you take 30 <laughs> points of Ow! damage. What the fuck, Zinny? I'm trying to hit it, I swear I am. <laughs> I don't believe you. Burn the <laughs> that's uh, that's her. Oh my god, it's just like back of the order. Okay, I am going to attempt to break this fucking thing's. Grapple on Theo. <laughs> gotcha. Oh dear god, please. I'm trying to just tug a war with Theo. Alrighty, if you're gonna try to do it, then let's say roll an athletics check against it. I will put a style point into it. Hey. Yeah, because they're weird about that, I remember. And a Again. bardic? Well, I'll see in a sec. That's I don't think I need it. That's pretty good. Like, that's uh, it really rolls! Good. It gets a nine! You, separ <laughs> you separate it from Theo. Hey! I will continue to have my echo well on this heckin' guy here then. That hits! Hey! Die. You strike, you deal 15 points of damage. I'll do this. Fuck it. <laughs> Unleashing foundation. Just debating. Uh, yo! That's hey. it! I dropped a crit, which is upsetting, but yo! You strike, you deal 12 more points of damage. Okie doke, and that is my turn. Alright, well, number one's going to go. Number one is mad, you broke his grapple. <coughs> He's gonna go for a tentacle attack on Fio. <coughs> and he hits. I, I got nothing! <laughs> Which means you are grappled and restrained. Woo! This is where I die, boys. What? What did I just fucking say? Oh, he I'm goes for a tentacle it. attack on Gino, which misses. <laughs> <laughs> Goes for another one on Gino, which misses. Goes for another one on Gino, which misses. <laughs> he just can't hit you. However, Fio, your turn. Yep, and I'm fucking grappled and restrained again, yeah? Yep. Woohoo! I love my life. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Sound like it. <laughs> I love it. Um, I believe you. You should. It was a very believable read. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> really grounded. Um, I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, use a Vital Star M on myself. Okay. 
So my attacks are gonna have disadvantage, so okay. Uh, I mean, they would underwater anyways. I have a swim speed. Uh, that's correct, so they wouldn't have underwater, you're right. That was a test, you yeah. passed. <laughs> <laughs> was that a test for you or for me? Who's to say? <laughs> Maybe the um, real test is never knowing. And try to break the fucking grapple. All right. Dial point. Athletics. Your lord, give me strength, oh please. Believe you succeed. Woo! Thank hey. you. It's about time. It's about fucking time. Action, bonus action. I got nothing else. I could Dragon Sergey, though. I'm gonna attack with my katana. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hold on. Hold on real quick. Uh-huh. I'm holding, thing. holding on so Theo's, tight. Theo's always having a time. She is. She's doing yeah. her best. Just checking the thing. Just give me one second. Theo yep, and Arden. you're good. Go ahead. Yeah, Theo and Arden. Always having a bad time. Make sure you mark disadvantage. Would it still have disadvantage? Oh, yeah, swim sweep, right. No, th that was a test. You passed again. <laughs> I was like, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> Why do you keep taking the same test? <laughs> I just, I really got to affirm that I know what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. AP English is hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not from here, motherfucker. All right. <laughs> That's a hit. Nice. Hey. Fuck, fuck. You strike him, dealing 10 damage. Yay. I love having extra attack. Hiya! That hits. Woo! And you deal nine more damage. Woohoo! I can do things. Hey, Irish. Uh, I'm going to... Can I see the Gargoctopus the next to Gino and... Uh, no. And you... Gino? The way okay. that things are oriented, you can't really see anything beyond those. Uh, the okay. water makes it difficult to... You, like, see maybe, like, the occasional thrashing of tentacles, but that's about it. Mm-hmm. Instead, I will do it to this one. I'm going to use Blood Curse of Bloated Agony on Gargoctopus 2. Because he's not having a bad enough time. I agree. He's not having a bad enough time. <laughs> You're right. He's not having a bad enough time. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to amplify it. Why not? All right. That sounds fun. I like hurting myself. That's cool. Take that, Arden. You piece of shit. You take three damage. Uh, that was my bonus action. And now I'm going to smack him. You get a oh, crit! There we go. You gain two style oh. points, do your damage. Get him! Take one of these! It takes 19 points of damage. Second attack. <laughs> oh, I was, that was dancing. That, that still hit, though. That still hit. <laughs> That's good. But yeah, that one was like, and four. 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 <laughs> hey! Nice. nice! And you gain a style point. All right! Oh, I gained one from uh, using a blood curse. So you gained a total of four well. this turn. Nice! Oh, yeah. Art and Doyle, <laughs> redemption arc. Number three is going to go. He's going to make his first attack against your Echo. <laughs> what is the uh, what is the AC of your Echo? Seventeen. Okay. Well, he just used a crit, so he strikes and destroys <laughs> the Echo. He's tired of him. <laughs> Die, Echo. <laughs> is then going to go up. I have been shot. I have been choked by a heckin' big old squidpus. I was octopus. just minding my own business. I point my ring at the octopus. All right, oh let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Roll it. You uh, sir, deserve whatever happens here. <laughs> and now he's going to get the fireball one. <laughs> A stream of 1d4 times 10 gems, <laughs> each with a cold. Fire from the ring towards him. You pelt him with gems. Roll me 1d4. 30 gems. 30 gems, each of them doing... <laughs> each of them doing... <laughs> One 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 30 damage. Damage. You deal 30 damage as you pelt it, it just <laughs> gets hit on the ground as it's bloating. As you hit it, there's just this repeated. <laughs> just, That's really like, good. Backs up just each one time it hits it, it like almost like winces, closing eyes. <laughs> die, die by your money. I'm <laughs> going to pick those up after. I will. I am going to burn two sorcery points. I'm quicken spell, and I'm gonna cast a message. Point yeah. towards the light in the water. Hey, Gino, you doing okay, everybody? You, you, you fine? Uh, there's a squid of puss up here trying to choke me. Uh, you can reply this message. We got two squid of puss down here. He says. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, is that a telepathic thing? You have to speak out loud. Sorry. Okay, yeah. So. <laughs> 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 I 
can't believe you used two fucking points. And you have to oh, whisper yeah. it. <laughs> Technically, you have to whisper it, so it would have been... <laughs> Well, Zinnia's gonna try to shoot it. Zinnia, no! Anyone this time. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Hey, you're good. <laughs> they miss. You grapple. And they miss. Zinnia, please. I swear hey. I am doing the best that normally I'd have my box and it would do all sorts of like, um, devil arm things, but I all I have is this <laughs> right now and it's just <laughs> so fast. Can you hear my dog barking? Yes! yes. At Zinnia. <laughs> <laughs> Niccolo, yeah, your like turn. Bullshit. <laughs> It's fine, Zenia. We don't need devil arms. I'm gonna go forward. <laughs> He's shoot me again. Board. We are gonna have words. He doesn't have anyone grappled right now, right? Just making no. sure. So we let's do that. Let's do a double kiss. Uh, roll the attack against us at the top. The devil's kiss. The plus eight. Yeah. Make sure to click oh. advantage because he's prone. Uh. That hits. <laughs> Hey! Nice. You get over you as you kiss it. The, the flames from the flames of admonishment seem to build up inside of it. It inflates, starts becoming reddish from the heat inside of it, and then the back of it detonates. Flames expel out of it. Oh, my blow to that. You always were good at cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I love fried purple. Fried what? Purple, <laughs> octopus. Oh, <laughs> it's good when you fry it. Come on, read the subtitles. Is... <laughs> spoken, spoken with the urgency of people in combat. Is that your turn? <laughs> Our octopus one is going to go. So, since he was already grappling you, nah, that wouldn't do anything to you. <laughs> well, here we go, boys. Goodbye. It is going to make. Two automatic attacks against Gino to start with. We're gonna see if either's a crit. One's a crit! Whoa! Good job! It strikes! You take 28 points of damage! Oof! It then goes for the second. We'll see if it's a crit. Not a crit, but it does hit, so we'll roll it into here, see what it does. A 12, so that one does nothing. It's then going to make a tentacle attack against Fio. Uh... Are yeah, you not marked as restrained anymore? You're not marked as restrained anymore. No, you shouldn't be. You're not restrained. Right, you broke free. Yeah. Right, right, That right, was right. a test. Right, that was you a test. It's going, to, <laughs> it's going to hit you again. It misses. Okay. I love that. Love that for me. It is then. I'm going to swim over here. Arden! Can't see shit. It's true. Uh, That's not my fault. You um, feel light. You, come you to feel me. light moving over here. <laughs> That's true. I don't really have anything... <laughs> That I could do to help. Breathe uh, fire. Here I go. In the water, <laughs> do it. Yeah. Come to me. Become as dragon turtle. I'm gonna fucking jump in. Can I see uh, the one next to Fia? Uh, you are still <laughs> only five feet. Uh, yeah, from where you are, totally. So then he would be within ten feet of me. I'm gonna do a new thing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do kind of a new thing. Um. I'm gonna use uh, my new primal right and uh, uh -huh. light up my glaive with uh, a lightning damage. Yeah. In another world, I would describe you doing so and then realizing you're underwater and going just <laughs> as it shocks you. <laughs> but it is magical lightning, so it does not mm. obey the, the the laws of physics. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> you deal five damage to yourself. God damn it, God damn it. Alice now I'm gonna do less to this thing. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna smack. Uh, I should have disadvantage. Sorry, that probably rolled again to see if you got to get a one. Okay, so you do miss. Second attack. I'll put a style point into it. Smart. You hit. It takes 17 yeah, points. All right, the one near Fio is going to go. Are you gonna fuck off though? And it's going to make a tentacle attack on Fio. Uh huh. And it's, hey, it's, it's going to get a 25 and it's going to hit. Suck oh, man. Fio, you take eight points of damage. You are once again grappled and restrained. Woo! This is my life now. <laughs> <laughs> it is then going to swerve around like so. <clears throat> and it's going uh, to go for a tentacle attack on Arden. Mm. He attacks. That's a hit. That makes sense. You are Arden. You are hit. You take 11 damage and you are grappled and restrained. Not crazy. Wow. Ahem. If you'll excuse me, 
Manny, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I assume it's not visible from the surface. No. I'm gonna take a big old breath. I only get one shot at that as soon as I try and do anything with the verbal components. I have a round. <laughs> None of these are attack spells. Okay, but you know what? Screw it. I'm nothing if not committed. <laughs> I leap into the water. <laughs> <laughs> I think to myself, D remember when I said I would kill you last? I lied, and then I point the ring at Octop Gark Octopus One. <laughs> oh boy! Here we go. You cast slow. Make it roll. Bum, bum, bum. It's centered on it. Uh, is the other one within range? It's a forty-foot cube. That's that seems. Very... I believe so. Yeah. Slow the. Because it's ten feet over to. <laughs> it's ten feet over to Gino, and then another ten feet to the other what one. What did you just say? I said slow the puss. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought you said. <laughs> Just clarifying. <laughs> they both fail. Nice. nice. I will then swim to the surface as I have about six seconds of air left. <laughs> there you go. One has to be completely submerged. To see them? To see them. Uh, currently, given where they are, yes. Okay, we must be currently submerged. Um, because yeah. I want to attempt to charm it with the hopes of luring it the fuck out. <laughs> you, you also have to look. You also have to look at your uh, at your spell and see if it has verbal components. Yeah, if it has verbal components, um, you can't cast it underwater. Well, yeah. here's the thing. I have I have I have interpretive expressions. That's so I don't true. Need verbal components. Hold on. A. <laughs> oh, the test. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to stick myself into the dirty poopy water. Alrighty. Because I guess I'm about to, about to be a dirty sewage girl. <laughs> um, I want to charm the Octopoishwa, our attempt. <laughs> so I will, I guess, pretend to move into the water. I thought you were going to say, I pretend to move like an octopus. <laughs> 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 like well, to charm. Here, well, here's the thing. I want to do that in order to charm it. <laughs> Five feet down. Go ahead and roll charm person against it. Uh, okay, one second. <laughs> oh, enough. Not the worst person I've seen her try to charm. <laughs> God damn it. You better fail, please. It's please. Damn course. it. Of course you succeed. I, it, it always happens. I can't charm shit. <laughs> you charmed me. Um, you literally charmed me. <laughs> well, the, well, it, it didn't work this time. And what I wanted to do. <laughs> the point is, though, <laughs> now that I'm wet and disappointed, <laughs> I, oh, <laughs> I am going to leave the water <laughs> and just give wow. more to inspiration. <laughs> Do Arden. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you just come down, you dance a she, little, nothing she, happens. No, she, just, she, she, just, she, just, she just says, I'm wet and disappointed, do something about it. We're gonna leave Arden. That's me. Gino! Okay. Heck it. I'm gonna just. Bonus action swap places with my echo. Fuck y'all, <laughs> Occupy. <laughs> okay. I ain't having none of y'all shit. Am I above water at this point, standing no. in this cage? The cage is 10 okay. feet down, so you'd be 5 feet uh, under the water. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, jump, plunge on this motherfucker here, Octopi 1, Octopus 1. You can attack him from where you are. Oh, okay, cool. I'll do that. He's 10 feet down, but he's also a, a large creature, so he occupies a bigger square. Teleportation works great. <laughs> You hit! Yay! Woo! It takes 13 points of damage. One. Mo! Oh, no. oh I dropped oh. to 20. You hit. Oh. Yo. And it takes 16 more. <laughs> Why won't you fucking die? <laughs> <laughs> Gog Octopus 1's going to go again very shortly after his last term. Weird. Oh, weird. He That's is crazy. going. He's going to attempt to do a tentacle slam. On the two people that he currently uh, has in his grasp, which are Theo and Arden. What an asshole. You're both about to make saves. Of um, the constitution um, variety. Uh, uh, last star point here. It's in there. You got star points, babe. Uh, babe. Don't need them. 
<laughs> Don't need him. I'm gonna use I mean, that inspiration. Go ahead and roll it. You succeed. I think I do it. <laughs> hey. All right. So uh, in that case, you guys are going to take half of this, um, and you will not be stunned, which is yay. what was going to happen. Fuck. Uh, you tell him, You Jerry. take seven damage, and then I'll hit half. Barry. Damn, Barry. <laughs> Feel. Right. Nice. Did you know that you're, you're a fucking asshole hitting you with my katana now? Yeah! Adorable. You drop a 20, but you do hit. Why do I have disadvantage? Because you're restrained. Oh, you're right. I'm a dumb. Yeah, you're That right. was a test, and you failed. Very, failed very disappointed. Head only <laughs> rocks, brr. But I still hit, so I'll take it. Uh, brr, I should have grit. It's fine. It takes 12 damage. I'll take it. Nice. And attack number two! Yeah, I should have tried to break it, but I don't care! That hits. Uh, but, but it's fucking it's either fuck 13 it. or 14. Yeah, somewhere around there. It's yeah. lowered now that it's slowed. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It takes 10 more damage. Woo! That's me! <laughs> 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 That's what happens when you're underwater, you see. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking hit it. Okay. Good. We're like, no. Spank. You hit. It takes 14 points of damage. Get sparky sparky. Second attack. Oh. You hit. All right. Oh, Take that one. That's an impression. And it's dead. Oh my god. Oh. I rolled into into max damage. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, I re-rolled into max hot. damage. What? What? Does that give me a stop? Yeah. Uh, it is <laughs> hot because of the electricity. <laughs> Things that you definitely didn't say because you're not doing this. Did it. You're gonna swim over there. I'm gonna swim over here. Bonus action. Smack it with the backside. Can you reach it from there? It's 15 feet away. Oh, it's 15 feet away. Yeah. Darn. Never mind. Um, <laughs> uh, can I, am I able to drink a mutagen underwater? <laughs> I'll say yes, because you could like put it in your mouth and like pull it with your mm -hmm. teeth in such a way that your lips keep a seal on. Sure, we won't think about it too hard. Yes, you can. Sure. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Hello, DMS. Fucking cool. <laughs> Like, uh, see Arden pulling out a new mutagen that he, uh, that he crafted as it, uh, anime what flashbacks to him in the van, uh, just working on this new mutagen <laughs> recipe. <laughs> and I'm going to drink Reconstruction. What does that do? Uh, it's something you'll like a lot. Yeah? Uh, yeah. It's a regen. <laughs> oh, thank Ooh. God! Yeah. So. Speed decreased by 10 feet. Oh, no. That's. What was I using that for anyway? I'm only yeah. underwater. <laughs> <laughs> and that's me. It's gonna move yes. up towards you very slowly. Just shifts yeah. through the water, no, its tentacles not. just- He oh. entered my range. That's I'll smack true. him. Go ahead. Hey. Hey. Its tentacles <laughs> reaching out slowly to you. You're just like, mm -hmm, poke. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Get fucking smacked, please. Oh, I uh, should have had disadvantage. Roll again. You uh, still hit, roll damage. Hit. All right. You will stop him at 10 feet. But he unfortunately, no, yeah. But <laughs> here's the thing about no. him: he technically could have hit you from there. He has a 15 foot range. Well, well, that's his fault. Why do you think they haven't been making opportunity attacks? <laughs> he can't get you with his bite, though, so that's good. That's, yeah. that's he attacks. Good. He net ones. You Hooray! like he reaches he out to get you. You points. slowly raise up your glaive and just go Broom! and poke him. And when you poke him, it just sort of stops in the water. And as you hit it, it just sort of drifts back as if it had given up and then starts moving lazily. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I got to go back in the dirty water. It's very clean, I assure you. Besides <laughs> <laughs> so sure, the octopus owner. <laughs> Apart from octopus viscera, yeah. Can... That's fair. I'm gonna try you this scared. again. I'm gonna try to char. I'm gonna go in the water and try to charm it again. Where the fuck did charm go? Here it is. Here we go and doing the thing. You're, you're not gonna do it because of course. It succeeded. 
Oh, get out of the water. <laughs> oh, <laughs> get wanna give, you want to give one of us a bardic? Uh, no, I'm going to heal somebody. <laughs> I'm going to heal. Fair. Um, a few Noodle and Arden are about even. But if I Arden's give... closest. If, yeah. But if I give him health, he's just going to hurt himself. I'm just giving him more reason to hurt himself. <laughs> If I heal him, I'm only encouraging his poor behavior. Yeah, this is just enabling enabling him. Oh, don't worry. Arden can cut himself as much as he wants. He's just gonna, I'm just gonna heal. No. So, um, we're just gonna. Us at the store, don't give him any gold. He's just gonna spend it on potions. Here we go. (laughs) Figured me out. So then uh, I'm gonna do a level four healing word on Theo. So I'm gonna grab this. In there. And then while you're holding your dice, there you go, you got it. Fucking, um, fuck, you know? That shit. Fucking fuck. Habla. Habla. Indeed. Hey, babies. I'm just gonna. (laughs) Just gonna get right in between there. (laughs) Yes, actually. (laughs) What? (laughs) What? Their whole existence now is just. <laughs> okay. Murder. Um get back to fucking dead. Bad hit. Woohoo! Great time. Y'all. Woo-hoo. Y'all. And we're gonna heal. Oh, that was almost back. Oh. <laughs> you do 17 points. Okay, Hover okay, okay. It. Extra attack, y'all. That hits. Nice. Same shit. Okay. Hell yeah, damn bludge. Okay. Next on 15. The dragon search again, that's the last of my fucking focus points. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> that's why I'm like, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. But he could also bite you. He could, but. Or you could just swim away. Yeah, I, I can risk it and just. Well, it can't take reactions. We... Oh, yeah, because it's still slowed. How much yeah. did I use to get there? 25. Fucking. 25? Cool. You got like and 60. Yeah, oh, minutes. yeah, I have 60 because I'm underwater. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. Now, blah. Mm. Now, blah. You're a little blah. manta ray. <laughs> you just run in, <laughs> slice, slice, run away. <laughs> yeah, kinda. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gone. That's me. Um, blah, 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 blah. Alrighty. Arden. Uh, smack. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you roll disadvantage. If you had a trident, maybe I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, hey, yeah, I'm just gonna to? Uh, swing in, try to cut off some of its tentacles. Yeah. Ooh, thirteen. That hits. It was almost hey! Hey! Oh, it takes eighteen oh. points of damage. Ooh. Ooh. Very, very nice. Uh, second attack style point disadvantage. That hits. Roll damage. Okay. And it, tell me, how do you want to do this? Because oh. you, you killed it. It's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like you were leading something. <laughs> tell me, how do you want to end now, this? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I see that the uh, that the tentacles are wrapping, uh, wrapped around... Um, oh, baby. Around manifest ec- the, the echo. Describe it so more. So I just go off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You like that, don't you? You like <laughs> describing how you want to do that, don't you? Well, like go you ahead, finish. <laughs> <laughs> I cut off the tentacles that are grappling uh, the echo and just, um, yeah, just let it bleed out. Hot. Wow. wow. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, wow. That was as delicious as a cocktail weenie. You do. You cut it. Its body begins floating uh, inert in the water. What remains of it? Uh, very slowly making my way back to the surface because I'm... I've, I, I've reduced speed right now. Can I use the flames of admonishment to dry myself quickly? Totally. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I would just go over toward Gino and Theo while, while seeing what they're going to do with this box. Yeah, I guess he just hops down from the cage and uh, looks to 
the orb and then looks to both of them like well on you, it okay he's go no, swing not. at it for gravity mm-hmm. you More break it plus his does anything happen when it shatters uh no the gem just floats harmlessly in the water uh cool i'll, I'll grab it all right everybody <laughs> gains 900 red orbs this dim orb that you hold in your hand has a soft light inside of it that looks like it's constantly like sputtering out and then lighting back up as if it was a dying light bulb imagine like Gino gets to the edge tries to swim up is too fucking heavy because he's gigantic and teleports up (sighs) alright I pick up Um, um, squid gut that was really cool what was no you killed it that was really cool man good job Fucking huh. killed it on in more ways than what you know. What I'm trying to say it's cool. Do you think <laughs> those buttons back there are the three octopus we just fought? I was thinking that maybe. So, oh no! If that's the case, there were so many different things on that third one, though. Hmm? But what kind of things? Oh fuck the fan though. Well, on Wait, the what? on the third button, it seemed like there were three uh, three orbs surrounded by eight. So maybe that was the three octopus with their eight tentacles. Possibly. Maybe Maybe we should go back, put it in, and then press that button and see what happens. Yeah, good try. Sure. Uh, First, I'm going to sit here for like uh, five minutes. Yeah, we can take five. As you guys get some idea of what you're going to be doing on this floor, uh, as you get the, the dim orb that now rests in your hands, I think, with you guys sitting down to take a rest, I think that's where we're going to stop for tonight. Later, everybody. Bye, YouTube. Bye. 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 Goodbye, YouTube. How's the weather, Ollie?